Black Lives Matter protests have slowed down around Central Florida, but the pain that prompted them is far from gone. That is the driving force behind a town hall tonight, and it is focused on bringing people together over the things that have driven them apart. News 6's Jerry Askin joins us now live to explain how you can get involved. Jerry. Ginger, yeah, we know there is a 6 p.m. virtual conversation um, hosted by two Orlando City Commissioners. It's happening as we're finding out more about what is being done to better educate and engage the youth. Things like um, Black History, Juneteenth, and also the Black Lives Matter movement. After the protest, what's next? We say matter, Black Lives Matter. We want to get the input from our community on how we as a community move forward. And working to be inclusive while moving forward is key right now for Orlando City Commissioners Regina Hill and Bakari Burns. There's a lot of things that need to be changed. You know, a lot of institutional racism, systematic racism. And that's why even though protests may be slowing down, the conversations they say when it comes to race relations and bridging the gap are ramping up. I think we need is more officers that look like us living in our neighborhoods. They're working together and hosting a virtual conversation at 6 p.m. They're also organizing educational sessions at a few community centers for kids, even this week possibly, on black history. We want to uh, make sure that they know uh, uh, their history and know why people are protesting and know what happened. They might have questions about George Floyd. This coming after News 6 hosted a Juneteenth town hall Friday. One of our viewers asking what more can be done to help police better cope with stress and race relations. I asked Commissioner Hill today. We do have to uh, create a safe space for them to even be able to come forward with many of the things that uh, plague them. Might be fear, a multitude of things. And if you want to ask questions yourself, you can find a link to that 6 p.m. virtual town hall on our website right now at clickorlando.com. Meantime, I spoke with Commissioner Burns and he told me how a few black officers told him why there is a need to train more of the police trainers. I'm working that part of the story in the next hour, coming up here on News 6 at 6 o'clock. We're live here in downtown Orlando. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results. News 6. Yeah, let's hope that sparks some really good and productive conversation. Jerry, thank you.